hey guys, my name is sammy. i'm a classical pilates teacher and today we're gonna go over the hundred on the reformer we're gonna go over the beginning way to get into the hundred and then the more intermediate way and then the more advanced way and a few variations. all right so this comes after the footwork series on the reformer okay so i'm going to show you how to get into it i have a foot bar that does not lock so if you have a foot bar that does lock in place you're going to have to rock up to get up so let's start i'm going to show you that just in case that's yours so if you've just finished your footwork your tendon stretch you would then bring your knees to your chest rock yourself up try to keep your legs in the air so that you're working your stomach during your transition and then you'll lower your foot bar down with your hands try not to slam it like i just did if you have a foot bar like me then you get to use your feet which is super fun okay so you're going to hook one foot under the foot bar and you have to bring the other foot down to catch the metal bar that's holding the foot bar up so you're going to draw your stomach in you're going to lift and your foot is ready to catch and bring that lower bar up and then you can lower it all the way down when you are moving your feet like that it's really important to really keep your stomach tight so you don't end up getting into your back in a bad way just to lower the foot bar okay so i'm going to show you that again but i'm going to do the arms at the same time okay because you know in a perfect world you do them both at the same time the more you practice the transitions the more cardio you're going to get out of pilates because you're not going to spend so much time fussing with the equipment and you can keep a flow going so these transitions are very very important all right so you just finished as you reach back to grab your handles you lower the foot bar and straighten your legs and you're ready this makes things really go by quickly let's go into the beginning version of how you get into your hundred which is always proximal to distal so it'd be elbows down knees into your chest lifting your head up straightening the legs and straightening the arms and then you'll start pumping here so it's very very good for you to know because maybe you want to try a little bit more of an advanced version of a workout maybe you want to start advancing your practice but you just will start with slowly advancing how you get into things okay so the next version would be arms up on your inhale everything goes out to the position this is the more intermediate way so you're going to straighten the legs press into the straps and lift the head and you can press to here still it doesn't have to be out here you can take it however it works best for you and then you're going to pump here and then you'll bend those knees lift those arms and lower your head all at the same time some people do choose to have the fingers free um, i actually like to grab the the handles because i feel like it keep you can easier keep your wrist in line or know exactly what to do with your wrist the most advanced way would then be to straighten your legs you can go heels together toes apart or a wider turnout what or together parallel whatever works best for your body to find mo the most amount of engagement so from here you draw your stomach in you reach long and you're gonna oh, i have to slide down just a hair you're gonna inhale and press and come back now i just want to give this like little tip here i was originally taught to slide away from the shoulder blocks to get into position but over time through different trainings i was taught a little differently and the shoulders think of this as the shoulder block as a curve if you see any old videos of joe's reformers they had a big curve in the shoulder block so if you're up here your shoulder is at the bottom of the curve like almost like coming out of the curve where it's flat and then as you lift up you're going to roll your shoulders into the shoulder blocks right into the middle of that curve and put your chin on your chest and pump this allows you to push in from your stomach without collapsing your chest and doing really curling up super high and not working the back of the neck 
So let's do the 100. Pick whichever way you want to get into it. On your inhale, you find your 100. Inhale, exhale, and pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, 20, in, and out. 30, in, and out. Two, three, four, 40, in, and exhale. 50, in, and out. 60, and out. 70, in, and out. 80, and out. 90, one more. And out. Hold, and lower all the way down. Very nice. So that was the 100 on the reformer. That was getting into it beginner, intermediate, advanced. I hope that as you get stronger, you start to progress on your entrance and really work the transition getting into that. It will matter in the long run about your whole Pilates practice. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave any questions or comments that you have, suggestions for videos in the comment section below. And like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day. Bye.